How's it? Indian Cowboy DocSports.com going to show Wednesday, April the 10th as we get this video to you. Have your free selection in just a second here between the Red Sox as they hook up against Baltimore in just a second. Have six free selections for you today. I'll have 10 free selections for you tomorrow and probably going forward. I'll try to have 10 every day for you. And I think that's a nice number. Uh, so I hope you guys are doing well. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy Arun Shiva. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for a cool 19 years. Doc Sports 53 years. I have a doctor and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. Our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva. Our next best selections are our YouTube Premium, or I'm sorry, our next best selections are our free picks and leans, which is what you watch right now. But we do have a YouTube Premium channel, which is popular. For $20 a month, you get close to 100 selections on Wednesday and Thursday nights at 10 o'clock. Today happens to be Wednesday night, and I'll see you there. We go, we slowly go through about uh, 12, we slowly go through the ball games that you choose, and um you get the first look on the next day's ball games, which is incredibly is incredible value. Great community recorded podcast is summarized uh, at the end in case you miss the uh, in case you miss the the podcast. So let me see here. Yeah, the link to YouTube Premium is in the comments section as well as the link to how to get to free sixty dollars worth of premium selections as well. Um, if you want even more content, hop onto our Twitter. Has our latest updates, our consensus, our popular consensus reports, and our hot takes on sports. And our recent videos are posted there as well. What do I need to tell you? Great seven-unit NHL winner yesterday on Carolina. We had a seven-unit NHL winner the day before on Vancouver. So back-to-back NHL seven-unit winners. Uh, we are uh, on a three, and we missed our NBA play yesterday. So three and one run in the NBA. Uh, we had a great March Madness plus twenty-five hundred. We won the seven-unit on seat on. Uh, we had a seven-unit win on UConn Purdue under. So we ended March Madness really well. We had fourteen and ten for plus twenty-five hundred, which is great. Uh, we're passing on hockey today. We have a four-unit NBA selection. We have a four-unit baseball selection today. Uh, obviously, a four-unit NBA. So we're going to win the NBA, I believe, and baseball. NHL, after back-to-back seven-unit winners, we might have a seven-unit on Thursday. Uh, soccer, 12 and 6 run. We have a seven-unit golf selection that's pending right now. And, of course, the MMA season, we're sitting at plus 42.65. All right, let's get to your free pick winner today. I like... Um, I like the over between Baltimore and Boston today. I want you to take a look at that. I think the over sits at around nine right now. I know I only have five or six free plays today, which is still pretty good, but I'll try to have 10 for you tomorrow. I always try to make this video as um, as beneficial to you as possible. So, yeah, as far as Baltimore and, Tor- or Baltimore and Boston are concerned, I- I'm very surprised that this line sits at nine today. I thought it would come out at eight, and it didn't. And uh, this line has been at nine all day, two between Urban and Crawford. I think this is what's going to happen here. Baltimore beat Boston 7-1 yesterday. That's going to tick off Boston, and they're going to put up some runs today. Baltimore 6-4 and four currently. Boston does not lose back-to-back games, it seems, this year. They just lost 1-7. to seven. It's the worst loss of the year for Boston, actually. Urban and Crawford here, and I'm surprised Baltimore is actually favored here. Both teams are actually favored here. So there's a lot of juice in this game, which means that Baltimore is expected to do somewhat well. Urban went five innings, seven hits, four, four runs against Royals. Maybe he'll bounce back. I don't think so, though, Crawford, because Boston has uh, is on a bounce back. Crawford went 4-2-1 and one against the Angels with a 0.84 pitcher. This is the best offense that Crawford has faced all year. Seattle's not that good, and neither is uh, the team that he just faced against the Angels. I think Crawford gets lit today, and I also think Urban gets lit today because Boston's ticked off, and that's why I like the over nine runs today. And uh, so I like the over nine runs. I think that's going to be a high scoring affair. Brewers and Reds. I'm going to go with the Reds here. They're nine. They lost nine to six, nine to five yesterday. Miley has not pitched this season. So I think he starts off a little rusty here today. Uh, remember, he's been pitching over 11 years. So Cincinnati's a fastball hitting team. They took two or three from Philly. Decent public fade as well. Green went six innings, three hits and one runs against the Mets. He's put together back to back quality starts. So give me the Reds here on the bounce back. Miami and the Yankees. I'm going to go with the under here. Similar to the two three score yesterday. Miami's lost both games in a row so far against the yeah, Miami has lost both games on back to back. This is maybe the worst team in MLB history. I don't know. They're one and eleven out of the gates. The most losses ever uh, it was one hundred and twenty losses back in nineteen sixty eight for the Mets. So I don't know what's going to happen here. But you have a Yankees pitcher in Weathers who went twelve innings and no runs, and um, you know he lost last game, so he's going to be motivated coming over from the Cubs. And then you have a, a Miami pitcher that's clearly on the bounce back as well, giving up ten hits and five walks in nine innings which is 15 base runners in in, um, in nine innings. So give me the under here. I think both these pitchers bounce back. Toronto and Brooklyn. I'm going to go with the over there. You have Brooklyn that won 96 to 88 last time. I think it'll be nothing like last time. Toronto with the revenge. Toronto lost 123 to 140 to Indiana last game. They had beaten Washington and Milwaukee prior to that. Brooklyn just lost 77 to 107. The Kings had lost back-to-back games coming in, so they just got destroyed by somebody. 
what does Brooklyn do after only 77 points last game? I think they put up a lot of points. I think Toronto is an active dog, and they have revenge. Give me the over. Cavs and Memphis. I like the under there. Cleveland off 120 points last game. They're giving up 120 points. They have to bounce back at some point, losing three in a row. And at the same time, Memphis has to bounce back. I think after they had, uh, they've lost back-to-back games after winning three straight as well. Both these teams' identities, the under, like the under there. Finally, Charlotte and Atlanta in the NBA. Give me the under there. Atlanta beat this team 132 to 91 last time. Charlotte lost by 26 points to Dallas last time. Super motivated as well, I think. Uh, after a tight loss to OKC, I should have figured that Dallas was going to come in and, and route uh, Charlotte because they're not going to take him easily. I missed that actually on my top play yesterday. Dallas saw that and blew them out. And uh, But Atlanta's off back-to-back losses. They should play well here uh, to the under, um, you know, step up back up on defense. And Toronto's off of a massive revenge when Atlanta routed them. Um, so I actually think this game probably goes under the posted total today. That is, I'm sorry, uh, Charlotte has the massive revenge against Atlanta, which Atlanta routed them by 30 points recently. So give me the under there. That's what I have for you on today's video. Hope you guys are doing well. YouTube Premium, I'll see you tonight. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, buy our premium packages, and join us for our YouTube Premium channel as well. See you back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.